Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Kyle, and welcome to Bearded Brood and Tattooed. If you're a returning subscriber and or viewer, I just want to say thank you so much for coming back and hanging out with me today, guys. I really appreciate it. Before I jump into today's video, hit that like button if you enjoy my content. And if you have not done so yet, please consider subscribing. It's free for you, and it does a whole lot of good for me with the YouTube algorithm. Also, don't forget to turn that notification bell on. That way you never miss a video whenever I upload. And so, I'm sure you guys are a little bit confused as to where I am right now. I am currently filming in our guest bedroom today, just because my dogs were in the living room and they were making a whole lot of noise. So I thought I would jump into here and uh, do some filming in here today. But yeah, I thought I would make a video today talking about my favorite coffee company to date. And I'm sure you guys know exactly what that is because I've talked so much about them in my past videos. But I thought I would just, you know, highlight them today and really, you know, focus in on the company. We are talking today about Black Rifle Coffee. So, Black Rifle was started back in 2014 by a Green Beret by the name of Evan Hafer. So, Evan was over in Iraq and he said that he couldn't find any fr uh, freshly roasted coffee. And so he said that it was his mission to make sure that his guys always had coffee while they were, you know, being deployed. And so he went home and he bought a one pound coffee roaster. And he said that he would sit in his kitchen and just roast pound after pound after pound. And when he went back to deployment, he would load up like three or four duffel bags worth of like 30 or 40 pounds of, you know, coffee, he said. That way, you know, everyone that he was deployed with would have coffee, which I think that's great. Like, what kind of a guy does that? Like, that's so selfless and just so thoughtful. Like, that's, that's my kind of dude. And so... He, he joked that uh, wherever he was stationed, people would try to follow him wherever he was. So that way, you know, they would always have fresh roasted coffee, which I don't blame them at all. But yeah, so today we're going to be talking about Black Rifle. And so we're going to start off with one of my favorites. This is Beyond Black. So Beyond Black, as you guys can tell is a dark roast coffee right there and that's exactly what it is and so I also have my favorite mug love this yeah if you guys like dark roast coffee I would highly recommend beyond black the other few that I would recommend as far as being dark roast Blackbeard Delight. It is a dark roast. Okay. Just want to put that out there that I wasn't just saying that without knowing that. Um, Blackbeard's Delight. I love anything pirate related, and so I definitely wanted to check this out. And so it's smooth, it's dark, it's rich, it's amazing, smells great, guys. Every single one of these coffees just smells so heavenly like nothing comes close to it in my opinion again my opinion so next on my list tactic squatch i love this i'm not a big big foot believer kind of dude but i do think it's funny that even bigfoot has to have black rifle coffee like, at least he knows what's good for him, you know, keeping him on that hide-and-seek champion, 
you know, route. But yeah, Tech Squatch. It is a dark roast coffee. I absolutely love that roast. I'm almost out of it too. Like literally, like it will not stand up. Same here with the Blackbeard's Delight. I'm almost out of both of these. And I've actually gone through probably, I want to say four or five bags of just these ones. So next on my list, and this is different for me, okay? And this is why. So I picked this up maybe three or four days ago. This is the Spirit of 76. And it's actually what I'm drinking today. And so... I don't know if you guys can tell, it's a medium roast. Now, usually I'm nothing but a dark roast drinker. So I thought, why not try to branch out? I want to try all of their products. And so Spirit of 76, right from what I can tell, it's amazing. I'm on my second cup of the morning, although it's like noon. I've been trying to film this for like an hour, whatever. Um, but yeah. It's actually super, super good. You know, it's doing the job. I really like it. Smells great. You know, I will let you know on a future video what I think about this. But as of right now, my thoughts on my second cup of coffee today, it's pretty excellent. I'm really enjoying it. And then the last one that I have to talk about today is loyalty. Now, I picked this up last night. We were at Walmart, and so it was my girlfriend, her sister, and her uh, sister's child, which is like two and a half. Um, and so I was with uh, my sister-in-law's kid, and um, I kept asking her, I'm like, which one should I get? Which one should I get? And she was like, doggy, doggy, doggy. And I was like, sold. Like, you definitely just, you know, picked out my coffee for me. And so, loyalty roast. It is a light roast, as you guys can tell. I haven't tried it yet. Like I said, I just picked it up last night. I definitely can't wait to try this one out. See what I think. And if you guys have tried loyalty roast, let me know what your experience is with it. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts and experiences with of these have you guys tried other ones I know my other two favorites that I don't have in house right now because I keep going through them are vanilla and hazelnut I actually just finished the last hazelnut uh, K cup I think like four or five days ago um, but yeah the smell of both of those are freaking heavenly so yeah Another reason why I really wanted to talk about Black Rifle was as I was doing my research to do this video, I really enjoy um, supporting veteran-owned companies. And so with that being said, Black Rifle employs over 10,000 veterans. I'm in awe of Personally, in my opinion, we don't do enough for our veterans. When they come home from their deployments, you know, these dudes are not in the right frame of minds as far as what they were just put through. You know, a lot of them come home to either broken homes as far as being divorced. You know, maybe they had a child situation that the child had custody taken you know away from them what have you we just don't do enough to help them. we really don't I don't feel like enough companies you know really do enough to help employ them and feel like you know they're giving them a place to belong to in order to make money after you know being deployed and so I'm really really grateful that this company goes out of their way to make it their mission to help you know any and all veterans get back on their feet and also want to help them become entrepreneurs 
you know, and, and so I think that's fantastic. That's just my opinion of it, you know. I wish I was able to have went into the military. I know I've kind of spoken a little bit about it. Um, both of my grandparents, as far as my grandfather's, that is considered, um, were both veterans. And I was raised by both of them. And so I learned everything that I know from them. You know, they were both Korean War veterans and they were no-nonsense kind of guys. I'm, I'm very grateful and thankful for all of my experiences with them. I really wanted to, you know, walk in their footsteps and make them proud and go into the military. But because of my asthma and my allergies, I was considered a liability in the field. Whatever, I guess. Yeah, so that's my little sob story at the end of that one. But uh, nonetheless, I just want to say thank you to all of my, you know, brothers and sisters in the military. You know, I'm so grateful for every single one of you guys. Thank you for all that you do and all that you continue to do for this country. And uh, yeah, so that's my video for you guys today. Let me know your thoughts about Black Rifle. Do you guys enjoy their coffee? Have you tried other ones that I should check out? Let me know. All right, guys. Well, that's it for me today. And uh, yeah, hope to uh, hear from you guys soon. Please feel free to hit that like button, subscribe again. And uh, yeah, please feel free to drop a comment down below, guys. Let me know your thoughts. Would love to hear from you. You guys know that I interact with each and every one of you, so I look forward to doing that. Also, before I go, feel free to follow me on Instagram, Bearded, Brood, and Tattooed. There is a guy that has the same name as me, but the and is spelled out. Mine is just an N. So make sure you guys follow the right one. All right, guys. Well, for me, that's all I got today. I'll check you guys in the next video.